Welcome to the National High School Glass Museum here in Newark, Ohio, where last night we had our first real snow of the season. And I wanted to give you some idea of how beautiful it was here. So we're doing some brief filming outside um, so that you can see some of this beautiful white stuff that we acquired over the night. And then, um, because we're going to be filming today in the King House, I'd like to welcome you to the King House. So follow me and we'll go inside. Welcome to the dining room of the King House, or at least what we use as the dining room of the King House. Um, today, we're going to talk a little bit about our holiday table. And this is an exciting table for us. Um, and I think exciting for you, our members, to see. Um, this table is obviously Alexandrite which was a wonderful, wonderful color produced by hi that I'll go into a description of a little bit later. Um, for our table this year, um, Marilyn Smith and I designed a tablescape of pure white, silver, and alexandrite, all to highlight and focus in on the beauty of the alexandrite. Um, the tablecloth was given to me a number of years ago by a dear friend who was in her 80s, and it had been her mother's tablecloth. So it's, it's the right vintage for um, the Alexandrite to be shown on. Um, and let me go into a little bit of description of the Alexandrite as you get more of a view of the table. Uh, Alexandrite, the beautiful, beautiful color that was produced by the Heise Company from 1930 to 1935. In an early description in Table Talk, the magazine to the industry, it was described as such. The intriguing color of glass, alexandrite, greatly heightens the effect. Alexandrite is an outstanding heisey achievement in glassware tinting. Flashing with the delicate glow of treasured amethyst, it is a dainty, tantalizing purple. It is the only amethyst color in glass which remains brilliant under artificial light. Also, as one looks at it from different angles, one sees a powder blue tint, then a ruby glass glow, and again, the am amethyst is prominent. These qualities, coupled with the fashionableness of the glass place it in a favored position with discriminating customers. In another period ad of the time, Heise described this beautiful color in this manner. When you see the new Alexandrite glassware by Heise, you are struck with the wonder of its soft, elusive radiance. Tinted like some rare orchid petal, the fleeting glow of its sapphire, of the sapphire. It is an American triumph for exclusive American tables. In, in another write-up that was done to, to the industry in the Pottery, Glass, and Brass Salesman's Report, Alexander Eich was described in this manner. It is not going too far to say that Alexandrite is as striking a color as it has ever made its appearance in glassware. And the more it is studied, the more its richness becomes apparent. And the difficulties that surround its manufacture are appreciated. It is a foreign invention brought to this country with rare progressiveness by the Heise Company. The complexity of its nature is best seen under artificial light. When viewed from one angle, the powder blue is most evident. A little twist and the ruby becomes prominent. Again, a turn 
and it is the amethyst, amethyst that is outstanding. By its very nature, the color will appear most, will appeal most to the high class exclusive trade and has already found a considerable market in this field. These do a wonderful job of describing this fantastic color that I think any of us that collect high Z are interested in and excited about seeing. Um, I'll describe a few of the items on the table. Our center floral bowl is a 134 Trident item and is beautiful at any time, but in this color, I think is just outstanding. Our candelabra today are 301 Old Williamsburg Two Lights. And again, I think these are a magnificent Heise item anytime, but in this beautiful Alexandrite, they certainly make a statement. Our stemware today is 3381, the Creo stemware. This is one of the wonderful stemware lines of Heise where the detail of a pressed stem is paired with a beautiful blown bowl. And the connection piece that can be seen when looking downward upon the bowl is an com incredible combination of spirals that always gives you a bit of joy when you empty your glass. Um, the, the plates for this are all of the Empress pattern. We have a combination of both square and round plates on the table today. Um, and they make a beautiful complement to everything that's going on. So one of the additional components of this beautiful holiday table is the mother of pearl handled flatware that we were fortunate enough to receive as a donation a number of years ago. The beautiful pearl and silver goes perfectly with our theme of Alexandrite white and silver. Um, these knives are a tea knife actually, and the forks are actually a fish fork, and the spoons are a specially designated Victorian ice cream spoon. But they set a beautiful, beautiful table and complement what we wanted to achieve today. Go. So I'm specifically wearing a lavender shirt today to complement our table. And I so appreciate you joining us today. And we have this beautiful museum that's, that's open to all, but there's special benefits if you join us as a member. And I will look forward to talking to you soon. Um, I should note that we have a new person behind the camera today. Nathan Hood has taken over those duties. And in our December issue of the High Z News, you'll be able to read more about Nathan and also another new employee that has joined the family here. So again, enjoy your holidays and I'll look forward to talking to you soon.